This is an Action Potential Learning SAT mini lesson, teaching you how to solve actual SAT questions to help prepare you for your upcoming test. I will be using released SAT questions found in the College Board Official SAT Study Guide. A salesperson's commission is K% percent of the selling price of a car. This first sentence gives you information on how to set up an equation to solve this problem. There's two key words here that should allow you to help set up the problem. The first is, is. Whenever you see is, that's the exact same thing as saying equal to in an equation. So seeing the word is tells you I need to set something equal to something else. The next word is of. Of tells you that you're going to be multiplying something together. Whenever you see the word of, that's the same thing as multiplying. We can go ahead and take this first sentence and put it into an equation format. A salesperson's commission, which I'm going to call C, is, which is equal to, K percent, and what I'll do here is just say K percent, we'll simplify this into another form later, of the selling price of a car. Of we know is multiply by, and we'll call the selling price P. So our equation then is C equals K percent times P. Next we need to figure out what the question is asking for and what we're already given. Which of the following represents the commission? That's your question, and that means that C, your commission, is what you're solving for. On two cars that sold for $14,000 each is the next piece of information that you're given. Since $14,000 does have a dollar sign in front of it, we should assume that this is the selling price of a car. However, since there's two cars mentioned in the problem, we know that P should be 2 times $14,000 or $28,000. Finally, the last piece of information we need to talk about is K%. Percent. K% percent is not given in the problem. That tells us that we're not actually going to solve the problem, and if you look to your answer choices, you can see that K is written out, it's still a variable, so we're not actually solving, but simplifying the problem. Even though we're not solving the problem, we can't leave it in the form K%. Percent. We need to convert it into a usable form that lets us simplify this problem more. Take 5%. If you wanted to rewrite 5% in a way that would let you solve a problem, you would take the number 5 and place it over 100. So whatever the number is of a percent, you place that number over 100. So 5% means the exact same thing as 5 over 100. We'll do the same thing here. K percent then is the exact same thing as K, the number, over 100. C is our unknown, P is 28,000, and K percent is the same thing as K over 100. So we have each piece of our equation accounted for. Now we can plug in our pieces. C we leave alone, that's what we're solving for. K percent is the same thing as K over 100. And P is the same thing as 28,000. Now we simplify. When you have a fraction and you multiply it by a whole number, we can even put that whole number over 1, it means the same thing. We'll multiply the top, then separately we'll multiply the bottom. K times 28,000 is the same thing as 28,000 K. I placed K at the end of this number because that's the format of our answer choices. So 28,000 K is placed over 100 times 1, and 100 times 1 is just 100. So I have 28,000 K over 100. Now we simplify. 28,000 has three zeros, and 100 has two zeros at the end. 
when you have a whole number on the top and a whole number on the bottom, each of which have years at the end, you're allowed to cross out zeros. In this case, we can cross out 2. We'll rewrite this then as 280k. We can't go any further since we don't know the value for k, but if you look at your answer choices, you'll see that, in fact, you've already solved it. 280k is our final answer. Your takeaway from this mini lesson is that you should understand when you see is and of. Those are key pieces to setting up an equation. Again, is is equal to and of is multiplied by. When you have a word problem, the first thing you should do is find a usable equation if you can possibly do so. Your second takeaway is to recall that when you have any number as a percent, you can rewrite it as that number over 100. Finally, always check your answer choices to see whether or not you're solving the problem or just simplifying. Here, since we saw k was present in every single answer choice, we know that we're simplifying a problem and not worried about solving the entire thing. This is an Action Potential Learning SAT mini lesson. Thank you for watching.